That's a horrible noise, isn't it? Why? Aren't birthdays supposed to be celebrations, fun and enjoyable? <coughs> That's not an enjoyable sound. Well, the ancient Egyptians and Greeks believed that each birth attracted spirits to the bedside, and some of those spirits may be the unwanted evil variety. So it was much easier to chase away all the spirits with some loud noises. Spirits don't like loud noises, who knew? So blowing horns and whistles and even banging on pots and pans, that would be enough to provide protection for the whole next year. Why are party hats cones? Hi everyone, I'm Matt from Canva Design School. Birthdays are a big thing in my family, but I feel like one of the most important things about them is often forgotten. Yes, the day and the party and the presents, that's all important. But it should also be a chance to reflect on the year and the memories that have been made over the last year. Parents writing an annual letter to their child has become a bit of a tradition in our house, and we've been doing it since they were babies. And as you can imagine, the kids love reading it and realizing that you've been paying attention to their achievements over the year. I was wondering whether there's a way to modernize it and use all those photos and videos that I've captured on my phone. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a personalized birthday video in under 10 minutes that's sure to bring joy. We'll begin with a template, add your own photos, animations, transitions. I'll even put some music into it so it feels really professional. And I'll show you how to share it to get more people involved if your family or friends wanna add their own personalized message to the video. This is seriously one of the best features of Canva. The fact that multiple people can be working in the same document at the same time, it blows my mind. Okay, before I show you how easy it is, make sure you subscribe to the channel because we're dropping some videos every week and I've got some crackers coming up I don't want you to miss. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is type birthday video into the home page search field. This will bring up a whole bunch of customizable templates. As you can see, there's a lot of variation with pretty much every taste catered for. Templates really make it so much easier to start inspired. I always use them. It just stops me from being paralyzed by that dreaded blank page. Okay, I'm gonna make a birthday video for my daughter called Frankie and I'm gonna use it to show what a great year it's been for her and how much she's changed. She's just turned 12, and if there's any other parents out there, you know that the change from 11 to 12 is huge. I'll use this template. I'll start by uploading the photos that I want to use by going here. While they are uploading, I'll just have a quick look through the template. Mm, it's pretty basic. But you know what, I think it might be a bit too kiddy for her. I'm going to look in the design tab, but this time I'm gonna search for teen birthday video. I know she's not really a teen yet, but she's desperate to be one. If you hover over the preview, it will show you what's included. Some are really short and some have multiple pages and nearly a minute long. Oh wow, look at this one. It actually says Frankie on it. I like it also because it's got a number of different pages and it's super colorful too. By clicking here, I can replace everything at once. This is a great feature. You can literally be halfway through your design and then decide to change everything and it will preserve the text you've already changed and the images you've uploaded. It's pretty amazing. On the front cover, I'll delete this and I'll add a picture I wanna kick off with. I love this shot. That panda outfit was such a great purchase. Now, you know what I might do here? Background remover. It's a pro feature, but it's such a game changer. Head to edit image and click here. And the AI will work out what the focus is and remove the rest. How does it do it? No, seriously, I wanna know. To me, it's magic, but there has to be a logical explanation. Please, if you know, put it in the comments. It just blows my mind, especially when I think back to being a junior designer and spending hours and hours in deep etching. Matt the Mac Monkey, I think they used to call me. Anyway. Okay, I'll copy this shape over here and move it to the back so it looks like she's jumping out of it. You can find more shapes in the Elements tab. Click on the lines and shapes and you'll see a whole range. 
Oh, I like this speech bubble. I can change the color here and add a stroke in. I'll choose a color from one of the other elements. What can she be saying? Ah, oh, I know, how about saying it with an image instead? Nice. Okay, I need a party hat. I'll just search that up here. You can see how you could get totally carried away with adding things. The element library, really, it has everything. Let's just assume that I was able to show some restraint and managed to get the next few pages done. In other words, here's one I baked earlier. Okay, it's looking pretty good. At any time, I can press the preview button and see how it's looking. Hmm, it's a bit static, if I'm honest. Nothing at all like Frankie in real life. So let's add some animation. Now, there are two different types of animation you can do. Firstly, you can choose page animations. This will apply the effect to the whole page. Perfect for that opening page where bigger is better. And if you hover over an effect, it will show you what it does. I'm gonna go for pop. Yeah, that looks good. Now, the second type is called an element animation. So I'll select this and I'll put a separate animation on it. I'll choose tumble, which will make it come in a little later. Yeah, that's working well. Now, I said there were two types of animation, but there's actually three. Quite a few of the elements are animated in their own right. If we go back into elements and search for party hats again, you'll see that this one's moving. If I filter, I can choose to only see the animated ones. Oh, this is cool. I could use this here. Maybe some confetti. And again, you can see how quickly I could get carried away. Let's just jump to where I've added in the page animations and not got obsessed with adding in animated elements on everything. Okay, check out this page. I've set it up so other people can jump in and leave their own message. All I have to do is hit the share button Add in the email addresses of the rest of the family, her cousins, friends, whoever would like to say something. Give them an editing access and then a little message in here telling them what to do and then hit send. On this page, I can even leave a comment they will be able to see, giving them further instructions. And I can even call out specific people by adding in the at symbol in front of their email address they will get a special email alert with a link that'll take them directly here. And if you're worried about some of your less tech savvy family members messing with all the hard work that you've put in, do not fear. You can lock things down so they're untouchable. Just select the things that you don't want them to touch and hit the lock symbol. Now they won't be able to move this element or change the color or change the rotation. Oh wow, here comes the family. I love this bit, watching all the little cursors working away. It's really handy actually. It actually stops people from working on the same thing. You can see how quickly it starts to fill up. Oh, here's a comment. Oh, that's a good idea. Okay, I'll just add in another page here and then I'll go to elements and then frames. And then I'll put some empty frames here so people can drop their own images in. Okay, that looks good. Let's check that preview again. It's a little quiet, isn't it? Now, if you know my house, it's rarely quiet. Apart from when we're all wearing our noise-canceling headphones, and then it's super quiet. 
Okay, let's add a music track. It really couldn't be any simpler. Just go to apps, select audio, and then search for the style of music you'd like to add. Frankie loves pop, much to my disappointment. So I'll preview this one by clicking here. Yeah, that's perfect. Now I can just drag this over here, adjust it like this so it fits the whole video. I can move it around here so the best part is where I want it. And I'll fade it out at the end. I'll fade it out so I can add in some crowd cheering sound effects at the end. Yeah, don't forget the sound effects for your video, from crunching snow to typewriters or even ASMR, if you're into that. Lots of that on the audio tab. Okay, it's feeling pretty close to being finished. Now I just need to share it with Frankie. Just head up to share, and I can choose to download it as an MP4. Uh, GIF is handy for animations and short videos, but if you wanna have the sound in it, you're best off with an MP4. This will download to your download folder and then you can attach it to an email and send it to her. But who am I kidding? Frankie doesn't use emails. So instead I'll go to select the view only link and this will give me a link that I can text to her. This is what she'll see when she clicks on it. Okay, I've run out of time and I didn't even get to show you how to convert it to a mobile video, which is actually gonna be better for Frankie because she's glued to that thing 24 seven. It's super easy. If you are a pro user or a Canva for Teams user, you can hit the resize button and choose mobile video and the AI will resize it for you and you'll get something like this. Let me know if you want me to go into that more and I can create another video. Oh, look at that, melts my heart. Have you made your birthday video yet? They're really fun to do and they don't feel like a chore at all. And that's the thing about Canva. We try to make it enjoyable to use. Designing and creating should be exciting and easy and most of all, inspiring. If you wanna learn more about what you can make in Canva, check out this playlist here. Or if you really wanna do birthdays right, check out this video about making your own cards. It's surprisingly easy and Canva can even print and send it to you. And thank you so much for watching. Like or subscribe or leave a comment, we really appreciate it. See you next time.